it's a sanctuary. This offers them some place close to their temporary home, I guess you could say. So they can come here, they can, whether they're doing something, uh, crafts or listening to music or watching TV um, or just sitting down and grabbing a bowl of soup and you know a meal or something like that. It just offers them a sanctuary to where they can just come here and just kind of chill out really. I think as we were building the center we always knew that what we were doing was going to be big. We just didn't know how big it was going to be. Estimates show that we will literally have hundreds of thousands of those who have suffered either visible or invisible wounds. This place will give our, our service members and their families an opportunity to relax, recharge, and plan for their futures as they transition to the next phase of their lives. I think one of the most popular places here is the place that's the most popular in your own home, which is the kitchen. That's where they share the most about themselves and each other and it's where they go to kind of be normal and have a warm meal and um, connect with other people. What's uniquely different here is this is a one-of-a-kind one center and the concept is, is right on. The location of the facility right next to the Warrior Transition Battalion, uh, the integration of the volunteers, uh, training us up on how to understand you know, where they're coming from, and then taking some old, old veterans like I am that, that serve that understand the military to some degree. We've had some partnerships here that have been absolutely phenomenal. Um, one with Combat Paper New Jersey, um, where service members have the ability to create art using their uniform um, as a different means. They chop it up into little pieces and pulp it into paper, and then they create art on top of it. Um, they follow that with writing about what it meant to go through the process and what they're going through in their recovery. And it's been a very cathartic experience for many of those service members. Watching the guys when they're ready to return to their units, when they're getting ready to leave, they've gone through the programs, they've participated in our arts programs, they've used the business center, they've you know, come to know us, we, you know, they become family. And when it's time for them to go, it's almost like you're saying goodbye to somebody in your family. And it's very, very tough sometimes. I think the very first uh, service member when he left, he was going to his new post in Arizona. And all of us were crying um, when he left, including him. Came in and uh, cooked cookies for us to say thank you. It was just very, very powerful um, that we had made a difference and how far he had come in the process. And then on the other side, you have our active duty service members and their families who are, you know, coming for programs. And it's good to see that integration of all walks of military life coming back together and participating in an activity. And that's really a lot of what this center is about, is that inclusiveness of all. And it's been really successful in a number of our programs.